welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey everyone, welcome back. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Okay, shocking here. (laughs) I recorded today's episode yesterday. I am recording right now, Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. The funny thing is, well, welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur. My name is Heather Hope. Um, I recorded this yesterday and then I did a bunch of other things and I forgot to upload it and do all the stuff that I always do. And then I woke up this morning thinking, oh yeah, I didn't do anything with the recording. And I opened up my email and my book is published. So I was like, well, there we go. So I'm going to re-record and let you know the the Inspired Entrepreneur book is officially, officially live. So you can pick it up at Amazon. I will link it below in the description. (laughs) And so here we are. So I'm going to, let's see, what is today? (laughs) November 25th. Um, And we're going to just record it over. I have no idea what I said yesterday. So I kind of get that way. I was telling my husband yesterday of, because this is a daily podcast, I really don't know what I said on any particular day. If this was a weekly podcast, I'd be super easy. (laughs) So when people tell me that I said something funny or, um, they, or if you just respond, I, I kind of have no idea what you're talking about (laughs) because I'm like, what did I say? Okay, so um, if you could let me know anytime that you're responding to something, let me know what you're responding to so I can actually um, remember. Because I say a lot of things, obviously, so I have no idea. Okay, so tomorrow's Thanksgiving. This is pretty cool. I'm excited. Something different going on. Um, Oh, did I say, oh, this is something that I did share in the um, recording that I'm not going to use for today. Um, Yesterday I was opening, I was in my email on my phone and I get the email notifications for um, the lottery. I actually get them for California lottery, which, (laughs) excuse me, which two of them are, you know, Mega Millions and Powerball. So I always get on the day that they're drawing, I get that email and then I get the email of the numbers just so it's top of mind. So it's in my email. So it's there. Well, yesterday, um, I was just in my email box in my phone or on my phone and I accidentally, and I'm using air quotes, accidentally clicked on the star on an email. And I'm like, what did I do? And it was one of the, it was one of the lottery emails. And I was like, Oh, that's interesting. So I click on the email and it said it was for mega millions from last night and it said 200 million dollars <laughs> and what's really cool is that 200 million dollars was on my vision board from many years ago as a lottery winner like i and it's been my number ever since of what i would like to win from the lottery of course i'm open to all lottery wins and any amount like even you know whatever whatever ten thousand dollars fifty a hundred thousand dollars you know what i mean but 200 million dollars was always stuck in my head and so i thought that was pretty funny (laughs) that i would quote unquote accidentally click on the star for that to save that email Okay. So, so I was like, okay, I, I, I should get a, I should get a ticket for today. That's what I said yesterday. So I went out and did some errands. I forgot to get a ticket, came home. I was sitting on the couch and then all of a sudden I remembered I forgot to get my ticket. And as soon as I said that to myself, I looked at the clock on my phone and it was four, four, four. And I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to. So I asked my husband if he needed to go to the store because I just don't want to go to the store. And he's like, yeah. So we went, I went to get tickets and he went shopping for Thanksgiving food. So I'm at the machine and I'm waiting for these two old guys to stop talking. They're like gabbing like women. Oh God, I hate that stereotype. But anyway, you know what I mean? Um, they were just, (laughs) 
that was awful. Please excuse me. I, I really hate the stereotypes that women have. <laughs> I really do. I think that we're all very much the same. <laughs> so that was really okay. Um, but they were just like in the world. They weren't wearing masks because this is the reason why I don't like going shopping where I live because about 50% of the store is not wearing a mask. And so there we are. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> so they're at the machine talking away and I'm standing, you know, probably six feet away because I'm like these people, <laughs> these guys. And one of them keeps like pointing towards my direction of like just through the story of whatever you're saying to the other guy and looking like past me. And I'm standing there obviously wanting to use the lottery machine. And I'm like, this is, you know, at what point, you know, I'm always trying to keep my cool just to keep my resistance down. Um, doesn't always work, but I try. And <clears throat> I, I practice my um, Wayne Dyer way of being, which he, Jesus, he was a saint when it came to patience and oh, going with the flow. So, so finally, I, it's, it was minutes, minutes, minutes. I'm standing there like, I don't even know what to do. I'm wearing a mask and, you know, my voice is kind of low to begin with. So through a mask, it's not very high. Maybe it sounds high to you guys because right now I've got morning voice. But anyway, so it kind of like, I don't talk very high. So, so a lot of times people don't hear me. And so I'm just standing there like, okay. Eventually the guy's like, oh, are you waiting for the machine? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm standing right here next to you guys with nothing else to do. And he's like, oh, and they're both like, oh, you should have told us to, you should have yelled at us to leave or to move. I'm like, <laughs> I was about to, that's what I said to him. And they literally moved like six inches. And I'm like, okay, you're going to have to move a little bit more because, and then I was just getting annoyed at that point. Cause I'm like, you guys, can you just be more considerate? First of all, you're not worried about second of all, you've been touching this machine. Third of all, you've looked right past me a million times and just, yeah, anyway, they were, they were nice guys. It was just all those judgments that I had towards them. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so I finally get to the machine and you know, I'm thinking of this whole timing, this is after the fact of getting my tickets. I was like, you know, the whole timing, that machine is rarely ever, you know, I never have to wait more than a couple minutes if I do. So anyway, and it's all about timing, right? So I, I get my tickets, I get quick pick for Mega Millions and my numbers, like a variation of my numbers. And then <clears throat> the same for tonight's Powerball. They were both, you know, Mega Millions is 200 million and Powerball's 202. So I'm like, okay, pretty cool. So I felt inspired to get tickets. And so, <laughs> so I get my tickets and I look and I am not kidding you. And I, you know, I'm thinking about going on Facebook Live today to show my book. So um, it's on my list of things to do because I really want to like show it to you. And, um, so that would be on Facebook Live. But my tickets, I can see, I can show you on my tickets. But I looked at the tickets and they were almost identical. <laughs> I chose, um, the quick pick came up first. And I never look at the numbers. It just pops up on the screen. And I'm like, okay, add to cart. That's what I've been doing lately. So I don't look at the numbers for the quick pick. It's just the first one up, I take it. And so the first three numbers were identical numbers. So the quick pick came up with three of the six numbers that I chose. And it's just been like unreal. The first three, it was like two, I can't remember what they were now, two, five, eight or nine, one of those. And I'm just like, what? I go find my husband and I'm like, take a look at this. And he's just like, geez, that's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, the whole story yesterday was crazy. But, um, with the email and, and all that and the time on the, on the clock and all that stuff, but to have three numbers match from a quick pick and a, and a one that I chose, I was just like, that's almost as good as winning the lottery. Like I, I thought that way, like how often does that happen? And I thought, wouldn't that be crazy if they were both identical? That's just insanity. So anyway, that was pretty fun. Okay. Needless to say, I think I got one number last night. So I did not win last night, but it's still coming. And I'm, I always remind myself of what Abraham says about these things of, um, like 
it's done, like what you want is done. And to like, pre, like, I, and I, I've heard this one many times, but I heard it yesterday of the woman who wanted to be pregnant for so many years and she finally got pregnant and Abraham's like, well, you still don't have a baby. It's, you know, it's not here. It's not here in physical form in your arms where you can do all that stuff that you've been wanting to do, like trick or treating and all that. The baby's not here yet. So they're like, but it's coming. Like, you know, there's, there's facts, there's ultrasounds and tests that say it's a definite thing. It's here. It's coming. Right. And so that's how we're supposed to act with everything that we want. We have to, we have to act like that. We have to feel that way that it's just like if we were pregnant and had the baby in our stomach, right. In our, in our stomach. And it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a real thing, right? It's there. It's real. It's not, you know, before it was there, it wasn't there and it felt it like it wasn't real. Right. Same thing with everything. So I, I, I think of that with the lottery in particular, because I'm like, because they're like, act as if it's, if it's like, it's like a pregnancy, your vortex is pregnant with all of your desires. So it's kind of like you have to pretend, visualize, imagine what it feels like, like as if it, if you were pregnant, does that make sense? Does any of that make sense? It makes sense in my mind, but (laughs) it's, it's a great reminder of like, stop thinking like it hasn't come yet because it's just like if you were pregnant and the baby's coming in nine months, like it's coming unless, you know, something crazy awful happens, but you know, um, but it's coming, like it's a real deal. Like, you know, it's coming, like it's, it's done. (laughs) It's just going to have to wait a little bit. Now in our vortex, the only thing that makes us wait is us and our resistance and our, um, not believing it's coming all the millions of times of like, it's still not here. I don't think it's coming. I don't know if it's coming. What am I doing wrong? You know, all that stuff. You would never think that way if you were actually pregnant, right? It's like, oh my God, I'm excited. I'm having parties. My friends are buying me presents. I'm, pre- I'm preparing, right? I've got the, I've got the nursery ready to go. All of that. It's a different, it's a different vibration. It's a vibration of knowing, because there's facts that say it's coming, it's here, it's real, right? We have to pretend or really, really, really believe that it's the same thing. Let me know, (laughs) excuse me, let me know how that feels because it's a reminder. It's It's like we have to remind ourselves all the time that we have to feel that way. We have to believe that way. It's the same exact thing as being pregnant. It's like, it's a done deal. It's coming. And that's how it has to feel. It's, you know, would make life a lot easier. Okay, so let's actually, 13 minutes in, holy moly. Let's get into today's thing and then I'll let you go. And then um, you can order my book. There we go. (laughs) Excuse me. Um, November 25th. By the time you have the thought or the vision of something, it already has a lot of momentum. You don't have, you don't have a thought, an idea, and then have to create it. I had a hard time reading this one yesterday. I think it could be worded better. You don't, but excuse me, you don't have a thought or an idea and then have to create it. It's already created vibrationally. All you have to do is align with the idea, go with the flow and allow. So, so often humans, we, we think that, oh, we got an idea. Oh, great idea. And then we have to start from ground zero to create it. And it's the opposite. It's literally like you're in the vibrational vicinity of that happening. It's already been in the process. We just didn't know it. We weren't aware of it. Isn't that exciting? It's so cool. It's just backwards. Everything that we've ever known was, it's just backwards. That's what I've came to realize. And it's like, oh my God, my brain has gone through so many twists and turns the last couple of years. And it's just, it's incredible. So by the time you have an idea, it's, you know, Abraham says it's like 99% done. The way to get it to fully manifest is 
to align with it. And that means not throwing resistance all over it of like, oh my God, how this is going to be so hard. Oh my God. I, I swear if I had a dollar for everything that people say, I'd be a billionaire because of all the things that people say that like basically just block what they want. You know what I mean? Like this is going to be so hard. This is challenging. Oh my gosh. You know, <sighs> it's a lot of hard work. It's going to be difficult. Oh my gosh. You know, that crap. And it's like, no, I wrote a post this morning. As soon as I woke up, I woke up right at seven <clears throat> and I thought the, when I stopped trying so hard to manifest, things became easier. Things, be, things are so much easier now when I, it's just, if I let it go, things, you know, I let go that tension or that resistance in my body and in my mind, things are, things just kind of magically happen because it can. So going back to today's thing, by the time you have the thought or the vision of something, it already has a lot of momentum. That's why you had the thought because it's on its way. And the only thing that limits it from coming right away is your thoughts about it of like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that. That's going to be like 10 years from now. <laughs> it's like, well, it could have been a lot sooner if you didn't say that or believe that. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. So you've been waiting for the book. I've been talking about it forever, obviously. And it's here. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so there we go. So check it out. I appreciate you guys so much. Have an amazing day before Thanksgiving and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.